हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज शक्ति भान यादव स्टूडेंट ऑफ शिवाजी राव जुंदले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय मी एंड माय को पार्टनर्स निधि वार्ड नेहरे एंड करण वालिम्बे एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज गाइडेड बाय विक्रम गोरे सर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ शिवाजी राव एस जुंदले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी माय प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक नेम इज एसई इनहिबिटर activity of ethanolic extract of sodium guajava leaves by in vitro method let's start with introduction of hypertension hypertension is also known as high blood pressure it is a medical condition where the force of blood against the wall of artery in the consistently high in general hypertension is defined as having a systolic pressure 120 mmhg and the diastolic pressure is 80 mmhg the hypertension is responsible for 57% of all stroke death and 24% of coronary heart disease in india the who rates hypertension as one of the most important causes of premature death worldwide the global and regional burden of disease and risk factor study in 2001 in a systemic analysis of population health data of for attributable death and attributable disease burden has ranked hypertension in south asia as a second only to child underweight for age before we perform the project we are study the relationship between hypertension and ase Uh, ACE means as uh, angiotensin converting enzyme the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is a complex physiological system that helps regulate blood pressure and blood balance blood flu- fluid balance in the body this relationship we are going to learn in the chart form you can see that the liver which secrete the angiotensinogen angiotensinogen is converted into angiotensin 1 with the help of renin renin which is secreted by the kidney then angiotensin 1 which is converted by ace angiotensin converting enzyme in the form of angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 which is responsible for constriction vasoconstriction which leads to increase in blood pressure and in another mechanism angiotensin 2 act on adrenal gland and adrenal gland release aldosterone which is which is reabsorption of nacl h2o r increases then we are inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme after the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibition this all mechanism are stopped such as vasoconstriction and reabsorption of nacl therefore the blood pressure cannot increase in the people with hypertension the activity of the ras system including ace activity is often evaluated this led to an increase in angiotensin 2 level which contribute to development and maintenance of high blood pressure next we are using guajava plant then that's why we are studying the guajava plant its biological name is sodium guajava and molecular name is common guajava and yellow guajava family of guajava is mertasi and species is sodium guajava and geographical source of guajava is mexico and central america throughout the caribbean region in caribbean region means this country in caribbean region which is present in the caribbean sea the chemical constituents of sodium guajava is flav- flavonol morin morin 3o lexoside morin 3o arabinoside etc then what why sodium guajava leaves are used as a as a inhibitor activity due to its bioactive compounds particularly flavonoid and polyphenols this compound are believed to contribute to 
plant may have anti hypertensive effect also the and also some research suggests that uh, guava leaves may exhibit acv inhibitor activity that's why we are using the guava leaves some uses of medicinal uses of sedum guava leaves such as digestive health uh, guava leaves have been used traditionally to treat diarrhea dysentery and other digestive problems etc and second use of guava is respiratory health which leads to the respiratory infections used to treat respiratory infections such as cough and cold and third use is wound healing and fourth use is diabetes management some study have suggested that guava leaves may have anti diabetic property and may be useful in managing blood sugar level and it is also used for cardiovascular health and next we are going to study the sedum guava leaf extraction the leaf extraction is done by the maceration method maceration is a common method for extracting bioactive compound from the plant material including sedum guava leaves the procedure involves soaking the plant material in a solvent in case ethanol for a period of time allowing the solvent to extract the desired compound for the extraction the material used in first is sedum guava leaves and second ethanol and third distilled water fourth filter paper and fifth glassware such as beaker funnel measuring cylinder and sixth is magnetic stirrer the extraction procedure first of all we have to collect the fresh sedum guava leaves and rinse them with distilled water to remove any dirt or debris you can see in the image the guava leaves are rinse in second air dry the leaves or use a paper towel to remove excess of water keep the leaves for set drying for around 7 days and once the leaves are dried make powder of leaves and add enough ethanol in 1 to 10 to cover the leaves and close container 1 to 10 means the 1 gram of powder added into 100 uh, 10 ml of ethanol 6 place the container in the dark and cool place for a period of time 48 to 72 hours and shaking it occasionally after the maceration period filter the mixture through a filter paper to remove any solid and transfer the filter to a clean beaker repeat the extraction process with a fresh ethanol if necessary remove the ethanol by evaporating using a rotary evaporator or by placing the beaker in the magnetic stirrer at a low temperature until the solvent has evaporated the resulting residue can be stored in a airtight container for further analysis or use note the maceration time and solvent to plant ratio can vary depending on the desired extraction efficiency and target compound additionally it is important to maintain the temperature and cleanliness of equipment to prevent contamination and ensure the accurate result you can see in this image the powder is added in ethanol we are used the we was used the 30 g of guava leaf powder in a 300 ml of ethanol the right side image uh, shown the extraction fluid of the guava leaves and you can see left side magnetic stirrer on which the petri dish are and uh, in right side the pure uh, drug extract are removed from the solid form the some property of guava drugs leaves extract drug are uh, it is soluble soluble in water and ethanol appearance light brown to dark green order the color are we described as a herbaceous slightly fruity and slightly astringent store is in cool dry and dark place to maintain its quality and stability this uh, process of uh, in vitro ac inhibition assay was done in the lab then it is not uh, done by us that's why we are not we are not explain this and next we we are moving to the observation table in this we are taken two drugs first uh, 
standard ac inhibitor drug such as a captopril and our extract which is shows the ac inhibitor activity the standard captopril shows the activity 84.27 percent and the, our extract uh, of sodium goza leaves show the 43 percent uh, of any ac inhibitor activity that's why the our extract is shows the less activity than standard captopril the conclusion of this project is extraction of sodium goza leaves was prepared using ethanolic maceration method analytical product of maceration has been tested for hypertension activity using in vitro assay standard drug was captopril which was then compared to maceration product of sodium goza leaves extraction the outcome of the study was revealed that sodium goza leaves show a moderate assay inhibition activity angiotensin converting enzyme plays a vital role in pathogenesis of hypertension, cardiovascular and renal disease. Sodium goza leaves are also used in anti-cough activity, treatment of gastrointestinal disease and increased platelet in plants suffering from dengue fever. Thank you.